hello and welcome back everyone to I Played the Amiga. Yes, where we are playing one of the most infamous games from my childhood. Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Man, there was definitely a point in the past where games based off kids, cartoons, popular kid franchises, they just made the games really hard for no reason. There's hope for Mother Earth, you will become one of the su Ego Superheroes. Man, I'm always surprised that this show hasn't come back in some capacity. Because doing a little bit of reminding of myself of what this was like. It ran for six years, seemingly 1990 to 1986, and it was no slouch for star power. It had Tim Curry as a voice, it had Margot Kidder as a voice, it had Whoopi Goldberg as a voice, Levar Burton. <laughs> Even Frank Welker was in there? Like, that's a lot of big names for a kid's show. There must have been real investment in it. And this is spoilers for the gameplay that's bafflingly ahead of us. Now, I understand that there is another Captain Planet game out there that was out on Nintendo systems that a lot of people will know over this one. It was like a side-scroll shooter, I think? This game is more of a platformer. And it's safe to say that it's off the rails. <laughs> and it is very hard. So let's see how we do. So we have our five elemental powers. Each with their own level. We start with fire, we move to water, but we can start one of these. We have a choice. We do one of these, unlocks heart, etc. Et Let's start with fire, because fire is slightly easier than water. Ah, Wheeler. The American of the team. And here we go. Need to remember my controls. I think that's it. Now, I need to put some perspective right now. The show is a lot of things. And it is kind of criticized at this particular point in history. None of these visuals make sense if you'd watch the show. Like, I don't know what this is. We're blowing up nuclear waste, I guess? Hazardous waste? I don't know why there are weird spinning... Like, I don't even know. Blades that come out of the boxes? I don't know why there's gigantic mushrooms. I don't know why there's Mario-style blocks. And yeah! Ooh. Oh, got rid of the buddies. When you kill enemies, you get buddies that follow you. That are actually kind of cute. And probably the best thing in this game. But you lose them if you do a... A save me from fall damage move. Also, water kills you. Because, of course, it does. The jumping is difficult. It has fixed momentum. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. And that happens. One hit kill. 
fix momentum. Uh, very precise jumping on the platforms. And yeah! You see our score top left? And our lives are just underneath those horrible pegs. That's how many lives we have. There is fall damage. You can die immediately if you fall too far. And what is with this music? Like... I just played, um... Archipelago, and I had awesome music, and then there's this game, it's just like... What is this music? No. I guess we have orchestrated it, it was just like... Want me to make music for what? But yeah, you know, I people love to rag on Captain Planet just because it's <laughs> unashamedly, uh, you know, what it is. Uh, Eco Warrior's dream. You know, dealing with climate change and other more serious matters in a kids' show. And maybe as a kid I didn't take it too seriously. I guess because it was kind of dumb as well. It didn't probably didn't have the right tone. Or didn't know what tone to take. But, I think about it, because, you know, we're still embroiled in the whole climate catastrophe right now, and I always think to myself, yeah, we've known about this for a long time, and nothing has been done to fix it, or not enough has been done to fix it. On that topic, I've been reading some very old science fiction from like the 60s and 70s, and yet they're also talking about climate change in a very familiar sort of way, so it's been, it's been a known issue for so long. It makes you think. You're probably wondering how did they make a kid's show about climate change, and... <laughs> I want to find, yeah, I want to find a list of all the villains. There was one guy called Luton Plunder? I think he was like a rich businessman? Okay, we have to jump on clouds now. Loot and plunder. Oh no. Let's save ourselves. Sorry, buddies. But you see, that's the sort of jumping we have. Oh. Loot and plunder. I think it was L double O T E N. And then his second name is plunder. Absolute madness. There was like a. Uh, so like an evil scientist? What was the name? Dr. Blight? Blight, I think? Voiced by Meg Ryan, of all people. Ah, uh, so 90s. Ah, and here's our jet. This might be familiar to Nintendo players. 
Oh, right, and this weird uh, bar underneath us is the ozone layer. And this is all evildoers dropping I guess just toxins down on the ozone layer and we have to stop it. Oh, we have to... Oh no, we have to rescue seals as well. Yep. This is coming back to me. They're really quite cute. You have to nudge them with your ship, which seems... a bit strange? But yes, you don't want holes in the ozone layer, because the seals have to run across the ozone layer to get to the south pole. Uh, that's something that happens. What? You actually can't have any gaps? No. Oh wait, is there a way to repair it? I don't remember. There was like a structure up in this corner somewhere? Wow, there's a lot of these guys. <laughs> it's a bit aggressive, you know, blowing up a blimp or a balloon with a massive laser. I think there is a way to repair it. There must be, right? Captain Planet is about... Open. Oh, that's one of the that's one of the films. Oh yeah. For some reason, he's at the ozone layer pipe because that's that's how it works. And you have to uh, laboriously carry it slowly, and then yeah, there we go. Okay, I understand. Or I remember. He can't kill us with those weird shuriken things. So yeah, Captain Planet. Something that's never quite made it back into popular culture. I think they've tried. I remember hearing about remakes and movie at some point, and I I looked it up, and I saw something terrifying with Don Cheadle? I, I've got to put some images up for you, because I don't fully believe what I see. I think I need to get rid of the games. Yeah. yeah, Don Cheadle. Playing Captain Planet in some sort of post apocalyptic setting of the world? Or something? I really don't know. Did we get extra life just then? I think we might have. That's cheap. Get out of here. Get out. So yeah, looked kind of horrifying, to be honest. I kind of fear to watch it, so I haven't watched it. If I find some decent footage, I will also put it on here for your for your amusement. Oh no, oh no, my keys are- oh no. If you've watched Lost Vikings videos from me, you'll know that my keys get stuck in the simulator sometimes. Do not appreciate. Oh, that life was easy come, easy go. 
think we might have got all of the balloons. Come on, friends, let's repair the ozone layer with whatever these things are. It was a pretty inclusive show as well. Like, a diverse selection of characters. You had um, Wheeler, who is the rather gormless looking character at the bottom of our screen. But the pyre, the, the pyre had the power of fire. Um, you had G, I think, who was to say Chinese, can't fully remember, who had the power of water, uh, Mati, is he like Indian? I can't quite remember. Who <laughs> was labored with the power of heart? Yeah. Yes, I have to escort the seal, but it's very exciting. You don't understand. I have to. Um, who else was there? Was it Linka? I think she was Russian. She had the power of wind. And I want to say Kame? Kwame, who is from Africa, I think, the power of Earth. And together their powers form Captain Planet, who's just a crazy green guy, or blue guy with green hair. Phew, that was close. Okay, where are the other seals? Yeah, it's sort of a show with noble intentions, but I just guess it didn't. It didn't capture its audience with the earnesty that it was looking for. Still, the last six years, it did something right. Ah, oh, we can exit. Now, if I remember correctly, this is just nonsense. You have to laboriously move your ship without crashing into the wall. Because this is fun. There. And that's level complete. And now we have access to the heart level. How are we doing for time? Okay, we can at least see the water level. The water level is insane. It's just, ah, oh, it's so difficult. Okay, look at all those abilities. Ice floor, low floor. I, uh, you'll see, you'll see. Clean the water, fill the pools, free the dolphins. We're suddenly like, way more responsibilities in this one. Totally different. The music is completely going bananas. We have fire raining from the sky. We have starfish things attacking us. So we can make platforms. Oh, okay. We can't touch the pipe because we get gooped. And if we don't, yeah, I remember, if we don't kill them when we freeze them, they break out and they just chase you down real fast. Uh oh Yeah, the 
next level is... Oh god, this jumping. I think I can make platforms to get up there, yes, there go. There's the sub! I believe... This music... <laughs> I believe each hero gets, or each planeteer, gets their own vehicle. Oh no, that's a mistake, that's a mistake. Oh no, here they come. Oof. You have to jump into the sub, which is easier said than done. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the water's kind of murky, you see, because there are pools. This is a laser. I know this is a laser. Why is it not? Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god. We can't let these little cartoon submarines hit this stuff. Sadly, I don't remember where we're taking this. It's like a grinder or something? Like a waste disposal thing? I can't remember who the villain of this level is. I think it might actually be Loot and Plunder. <laughs> I think we need to get it on that conveyor belt. Uh, this is... Is this reminding people of the Turtles game? Because it's reminding me of the Turtles game. Is that not good enough for you? There we go. Okay, you see? The water went slightly more blue. I think there might be another one. Yup. Like, I don't hate this music. It's just, it's just bananas. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> it's like, who designed these levels? They're so precise. Thank God there isn't a time limit. I mean, there's a time limit for you guys, because this is only as exciting as I can make it. Okay, now, getting up here... Yep. Like, there's so much going on in this game. Did you think the f from looking at the fire level that we'd be doing this in the next level? I I doubt you thought that. You haven't even seen the other levels yet. Alright, other threats. Oh, that's nice of you. So I need to take that down. Right, okay, I think I remember this. You have to go fast. There we go, that's what I wanted. I'm a little scared about how I'm remembering these things. I think I did play this game a lot, and uh, it's just it was so difficult. Hmm? And I'm really scared my controls are going to mess up on me at the worst possible time. Okay, back there. And I'll be honest with you guys. 
I'm doing the submarine bit because the rest of the level is a nightmare. <laughs> okay, can I just drop it from here? I think I can. Yeah, okay. Oop. Oh, what? Did that clean the pool? <laughs> Do I have to go back and get it? I don't know. Come on, game. Like, I feel like the designers of this game weren't told often enough that they need to dial back a bit. They're making a game for people who are six or seven years old. Right, it's not there, so I guess it worked. Quote unquote worked. Okay, is there anything in here? Probably. Yep, one more. And then up here? Like. Ah. Uh, Like, if I was to encapsulate my feelings right now, or what I'm experiencing right now, it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> it's more just kind of restrained apprehension. Just, it's a permanent state of like, I need to get my inputs correct, I need to do this properly. And it's like, why on earth did you think that was a good idea for a game directed at kids? Right. Also, I'm pretty sure you can't pick these up like really close if I was to do it here. I would die. I am fairly sure that's what happened. Just to be extra annoying. So, how many freaking toxic waste barrels do you need? Oh, Man, this is. It's no joke. It's no joke. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I think even if I die and maybe you need to start this again sometime, and God forbid, try and do more of this game on the channel, we can agree that that was pretty good. I see you, little starfish guy. Does it have a party hat? Why does it have a party hat? It's just... Right, now this, again... We can't drop it for some reason. There we go. Oh no! What? I... I don't know how to fight the enemies in the water. That doesn't make sense. Oh good. Good, good. Glad to see it. Glad to see it. How am I... Oh god, really? I literally don't know how to deal with this. And I can't fight it. Okay, Captain Planet. <laughs> you have failed. The Earth has fallen to the power of the eco villains. Yeah, no. No pressure. Oh, well, that's, that's us at about 30 minutes. I had fun, relatively. 
I hope you did too, and I think, I think we might come back to this one day. So if you like this, please look up Captain Planet. I'm sure there's lots of clips on YouTube. You can see how crazy the 90s were. And please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and a like if you remember Captain Planet. And if you'd like to see it return in some capacity, let me know how. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.